Thanks for joining the channel. In this episode, we're going to celebrate and talk about our three-year journey coming up July 5th for our channel. So stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and, and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Today, Joel, we're celebrating three years of our podcast. Zoom. It has gone by fast. Zoom. It sure has. Yeah. I can't. It seems like, uh, man, it just it doesn't seem like last month that we were sitting here doing our first first episode. I mean, it's really right around almost the beginning of COVID when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I know that was a topic, you know, for a lot of our episodes uh, or at least a discussion point. But um, I know I think the official date when we uploaded the first one was July 5th. So we're approaching that time uh, right now. And uh you know, we both thought that uh, in this episode, it'd be kind of nice just to kind of reflect back on our three-year journey here and uh, talk through maybe some of the numbers, talk through, you know, we both kind of picked out some of our favorite videos for whatever reason, explain why. And then, uh, and then uh, we've got some opportunities between now and the end of the year that we're working on. So I think we can talk through that. And then this like kind of our last, uh, celebration videos episodes that we've done we're going to finish it with some uh, bloopers so stay tuned to the end of the video to uh, see some of these bloopers uh, they're they're usually pretty good <laughs> pretty good we i don't know what they're going to be yet but uh, they're usually really good might be some spousal moments there probably will be um yeah we'll just let it be a surprise for our audience yep how's that sounds good Hey, let's um, let's kind of just jump into, and I don't want to. We don't want to inundate our audience here with some numbers, but uh, you know, some of these numbers and stats that we're talking about, I feel proud about. I know you, you know, we put a lot of energy and time into this. We're by no means a huge channel, but uh, we've. I feel we've come a long way. So, uh, again, three year anniversary in the three years here, we've had almost fifty five thousand views across one hundred and sixty total videos that we've got released 50 wow yeah so you know we're you know you do the math that's you know roughly around 55 53 videos a year on average and i i remember the first year we weren't anywhere close to that but in the last year and a half we've committed to releasing a episode every week and i think we've stuck to that i don't i don't think we've uh, missed a week yet so that that's something to be proud of. I'm, I'm certainly proud of that. Well, so. and I know a lot of people think, you know, you go out on YouTube and you see those 800,000 views or million views, blah, blah, blah. Those are really the top 1%. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. I'd really like to see what percentage of the 80-20. I'd love to see the 80-20 on YouTube and see what that looks like. But, uh, you know, we were never about that to begin with, with the numbers, but... Uh, you know, super proud of, of these. Um, in addition to the views, you know, about uh, 4,800, 4,700 hours. So you typically think about a one person full time working all year is around 2,100 hours. Mm -hmm. um, we're double that, you know, so we, we, we've got two people out there watching full time. Uh, YouTube equivalent of in hours of our our episodes. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. <clears throat> we got eleven videos um, over a thousand k, which and know, we were hoping for one. Yeah, yeah, a thousand was really at the beginning was how are we going to get there, right? What what would that look like? What do we got to do? And our peak is how many? What's our number? Uh, one? I think our number one video is just shy of fifteen thousand. Right, it's the Raven, right? The Raven, yep. Just a little bit shy of 15,000. So, again, we're not about any of these numbers, but, um, you know, it is a business and it is, you know, kind of how you measure yourself. So, uh, we've, we've, gone, we've gone a long ways. We have. I feel good about that. And we've got, what, 376 subscribers? Yeah. Yeah. As of today. Yep. Uh, and we'd love to have more. I mean, we, we, uh, <clears throat> we want to earn your subscription. And, uh, you know, give us comments if we're not earning your subscription. But, uh, you know, if you're watching the videos, we put a lot of time and effort into these and enjoy doing them. But uh, we'd love to have your subscription uh, involved with it also. And if you've got topics that you'd like us to address, gosh, we'd love, love to get that. I mean, 
we we talk we've got a pretty good funnel of ideas that uh we want to work on but uh man we're always looking for some really great topics that would be of interest to you as well absolutely and speaking of topics tim transitioning here huh? uh-huh. uh did you, do you like that how i pivoted i did, right I did that, pivot so. uh <laughs> Videos? What are some of the videos, you know, top videos that kind of stuck in your mind and, and why? Uh, the load leveler, load level indicator that you built. Uh, I was just impressed. I mean, uh, thinking out of the box, I bought this uh, Kubota that came with a load level indicator that basically shows where, where your bucket is as far as uh, its plane to the ground. And uh, you saw that. And then you applied it and built one for your tractor. I was impressed with that, and our li- and our viewers like it too. Yeah, thanks. I think we're getting <clears throat> some good comments on that. So, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, that was probably one. Uh, food plot strategies. We have a number of videos out there on food plot strategies, and uh, whether it be something that hey, I was the subject matter expert or some of our resources. Um, I go back even myself and we'll go back and review them just to refresh my memory and and think about approach and uh, I think we've built ourselves now into some subject matter expertise on food plots if not that at least we know who to contact right yep and we've got in in multiple contacts I mean you think about it we've got DNR contacts that we've had on the show many times food plot related, sunflower related, et cetera, et cetera. Payson, just recently about that. Um, pheasants forever, right? Um, and I know I'm missing some more here, but. Uh, well, I mean, Iowa, Missouri hybrids, you know. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, Aaron, I mean, gosh, for sure. Just feels like, hey, we've talked to so many people. I've, I feel like now, hey, we can bring on a guest and we can ask pretty darn good questions. Yes, and real questions that apply to us, right? Yep. So, yeah, good. What's the last one? Bring it home. Uh, the last one I had is my bone broth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the bone broth. So, um, as you know, I, uh, some of our, our longtime viewers, I went moose hunting, and I basically boiled down the bones to make some bone broth. Uh, great for soups, whatever. And uh, I, it turned out so well that I'm now going to apply that for venison. So this is stuff that I would have normally just thrown away, and it's super good for you. My wife actually, she was very skeptical at the beginning and is now bought into the whole process, and now she's actually saying, hey, we'll do that for the deer when we get deer. I mean, hopefully we get a deer. and uh, You'll get a deer. And uh, so I thought that was kind of evolutional for, for us. Yeah, I... I had to, that one just kind of had left the memory banks here, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. It was, it was very innovative and very cool. And it's not a high viewer, but I mean, I would encourage people to take a look at that. Yeah. It, it was a good episode. Yeah, because you, you smoke those and put them on the grill and everything, didn't you? Yep. So cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That brings back <laughs> great <laughs> memories. Great <laughs> memories. Well, I'm going to kind of tee off. I didn't have any. We did this kind of separately and no doubles here. So that's good. But similar topics um we we did uh, some of our first original high flying videos were the reviewing your tractor uh 60 5800 60 somewhere in there your kubota Mm -hmm. tractor um so those those stick in my mind just because you know we the first one went so well we actually came back i think after 30 hours or something like that and did another one and it, it did just as well um, and then we came back and did another one on some maintenance items and some things that, you know, work, weren't working so well on your tractor. But uh, so the Kubota review, the Mahindra rear wheel seal um, that was leaking on uh, my Mahindra lawn tractor that I had dealt with for six months, probably. Um, super happy one to get that fixed for me. But I cannot tell you, it's probably our number one video that we get the most comments, comments from. On. And it's more questions. Most of them are questions. <clears throat> so I feel really good about that, that there are people out there that are experienced or have experienced that issue. And this really has been a good positive resource for them. And on top of that, I mean, when you, when you look at it, uh, clearly it's an issue. 
but we also get a ton of emails on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, not a well. It's getting it's getting up there. You know, it's getting up there from a viewership standpoint. But um, yeah, just the just the interaction with that one has just been super positive and sticks in my mind. And then bringing it home is I'm kind of generalizing here, but uh, the annual trail camera testing that we do, man, what, it is so fun doing that. And then uh, just kind of un- trying to understand uh, which one's going to win and what's better. And we've re- I've, I've personally learned a ton on that. And, uh, I, you know, I, I feel that I've pur- made some good purchases on trail cameras that if I hadn't have done that, I, I wouldn't have made those good purchases. Yeah, I mean, and plus I think you look at these cameras, I mean, they're always trying to sell you on all these features. And we really now have narrowed down to really what are those features that really matter. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, we know I went to Cuddy, the Cuddy Bex uh, solution. However, the cameras that we can buy cameras, I feel relatively confidently at that $60, $70 range that are excellent cameras. I mean, you... You are not giving up much, and there it's going to meet. It's going to meet your objective. If you don't mind going out and cha- changing out the SD cards, they are excellent cameras. Yeah, yeah, we've tested a lot of them. Yeah, and you know we haven't <clears throat> talked about this, but uh, I got a feeling we'll be testing some more here. You know, in another five or six months. So, yep. uh, look forward to that. But uh, yeah, nice job, nice job. Um, let's kind of look a bit ahead here. So, um, you know, we're about mid year and, um, we've got some exciting things that we've got planned for mm-hmm. the channel between now and the end of the year. Um, you want to talk about some of those or some things that we've done, um, and or plan on doing? Yeah. So, uh, well, I've got a number of food plots that I'm running some tests on. I may, as a teaser, may share some of those results. I think some of them are a bit innovative. Um, we got cutty back. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do on the cutty backs just because there's so much functionality on it. We've just kind of scratched the surface. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got some, some uh, equipment reviews that we're going to do. I think mean, plant different types of planters is on deck. Uh, we've got a Kubota 1100C that we're going to do a review on it's a diesel um i'm not going to say any more but yep more to come on that yeah um we've got you know should we should we talk let's about tease it i mean we let's let's maybe not tease it but we can't commit to it right anything can happen yet but uh, i think where you're going is we've got a potential sponsor opportunity yep so uh more to come on that but uh <clears throat> you know knock on wood here tim we'll uh you know, have have some sponsorship uh, here coming up and, um, you know, before the 4th of July. Yep. And hopefully, hopefully by the time of this publishing, we'll have that finalized. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be good. So great, great opportunity. More to come. Yeah. More to come. You know, um, <clears throat> other things kind of grow throughout the year. So I'm looking forward to doing these podcasts. But uh, we bought a drone this year. So we're still learning the drone thing, but we've started to include some of that video in our in our podcast. And man, it's one super fun to fly. But second of all, the video you get from that thing is just insane. Yeah, I wish I w- wish we would have bought it sooner. To be honest with you, I I agree. I, I agree. But so I'm really looking forward to one. Super excited to have it, you know, for our channel and us. But uh, super excited even more to. Uh, see how creatively we can use that thing yep and then we're both wearing uh two dumbass uh new merchandise for us this year yep, so teespring's been good for us teespring's been pretty good again that link is in all of our episodes down below so if you're uh, are interested in you know wearing some two dumbass uh, merchandise it's super easy to click on the link and go from there it's that easy it's that easy but, uh, it's been a good year, man. Nice. It really has. Nice. I appreciate all your help. I appreciate I appreciate your words and uh, everything that you do, Timbo. But uh, great three years for the channel, and uh, I look forward to many more. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to close out here, and uh, but stay tuned here because I'm going to include some bloopers. Uh, again, 
probably some bloopers that we've seen before, but they still will make you laugh. So we'll include those bloopers. But uh, until then, be, be safe, safe, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Folks, welcome. We are doing an unboxing and a reveal of a 2016 3038 John Deere E tractor. So stay with us and uh, we're going to have all the details. Welcome to our, uh, you know, fuck that. <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> you, you got it under. It's just a re Ready? Action. Nope. Hi, welcome YouTube viewers and podcasters everywhere. I am Samantha, wife of a dumbass. This is my friend Ruthie, another wife of a dumbass. <laughs> Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumb Asses. Oh, <coughs> fucking mats. Hey, don't tell Tim. I'm sneaking another little bit of his uh, expensive uh, bourbon. What do we got? How many we got going on out here? <laughs> you caught me. You caught me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Malcolm. Malcolm. That's <laughs> bad. Welcome to Mid. Uh. I just put a new battery on it. Huh? Dead. I can't. Really? I just put a new battery on it. No. This year. Hey, Blue. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.